Hi, I'm Gaspar Barca and today I'm going to show you in this Audio Tats Plus exclusive tutorial how to create a uh, simple but very very effective and versatile uh, Reese bass lines in Native Instruments Massive. So let's get started. Reese bass lines are basically two waveforms being detuned from each other. So for that, in this example, I'm going to use square waves because that's a simple waveform and uh, as simple as it is, uh, Reese's work really, really well with them. So I'm going to use this select in oscillator 1 this basic square saw waveform and set the wave table position all the way to the left. I'm going to do the same thing in oscillator 2 select square saw 1 and set wave table position all the way to the left. Make sure that you have your M turned up on both of these. I'm going to turn the volume right a bit so that I don't go too high. And now if I play some notes, um, nothing really happens. We just hear the square waves, or actually one square wave, uh, but louder, because the two are exactly, think the exact same thing. But if I change the pitch of both of these, ever so slightly like this we're going to start to hear the re's come into play if yours sound higher make sure you play lower notes because this is basically a bass line so you want to be playing low notes we need to go down an octave and play some notes from that so this is where the re's really comes in. Okay, so now we have a pretty good Reese already, uh, but w one thing I want to make sure is that I have a full sound that retains its volume throughout the whole sound, so I'm going to change the amp envelope, which I can do right here because it's set to uh, the fourth envelope, so we go to four and and set the sustain level with this little knob all the way up. So right now I have a full grease that doesn't lose any of its volume. Okay, now for a few tweaks to make it sound even better. Go to the voicing tab and set it to monophone because this is a bass line, we don't want to be playing more than one note at a time. Another thing you want to do is go to the oscillator tab and set up a glide. Glide is basically portamento. That's how it's called in different synths or just in different programs. Uh, uh, you're gonna hear in a minute how 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 it sounds. It's basically it's gliding when you're playing one note and then you start playing another note. It start it's between the notes. It it creates a glide a pitch band that goes through the different notes. So right now we don't have any of that. So if I play a, a note that's a bit low and then a higher one, we hear none of that. And if I turn the time up, you're gonna hear what I'm talking about. Turn the time up roughly to about half or a bit about that. Now you can hear that uh, the notes actually glide, and it's not like um, it's not like one note is stopped and then there's another note that gets played. But it's it's a, a continuous pitch band, which is really cool, I think. And now we're gonna use a few effects on these to enhance them even further. Go to the FX slot. On FX one, I'm going to use a chorus to give it um, even more width stereo width and uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the rate as it is and I'm going to use a very very low drive at setting I don't want to um, drown it in chorus I just want a little bit of that to give it a bit more width so let's listen how that sounds okay so now it sounds 
even fuller and I'm going to add a dimension expander which is actually it is a course in, in itself and a few other effects but I'm just going to use it on a very very low size value and a very very low dry va value just to give it a bit more width and life <laughs> Okay, now the Reese's sound is sounding better and better, and now I just I just want to apply very slight EQ, a bit of high shelf to really bring out some sparkle, and a bit low shelf to really bring out some of the bass a bit more. I'm going to lower the master volume so we're not too loud. Now let's try it. So this is your basic Reese sound. If you want to do um, some some other things with it, feel free to experiment. So I'm going to show you a few things how to make this uh, make different sounds out of this one on the same idea. Uh, you can apply a filter to uh, filter out all the high end, which is good if you want to have a different synth or a lead sound playing above the bass and you just want to have the Reese as really bass content and you want to have other things on top of it because right now as it is it features all kinds of all kinds of frequency content so you might want to low pass filter it so I'm going to set both oscillator 1 to to go to filter 1 uh, in a serial way and in filter 1 I'm going to set up a low pass filter with no resonance because I don't need that right now I just want to play with the cutoff set the cutoff to like that or so and now we only have the bass playing and you can have lots of different instruments on top of it now this sound is really common in drum and bass but you can and feel free to experiment with different styles of music. I, I've used this kind of synth in actually a house-like tune and it sounded really good. So thank you very much and have fun.